YouTube Interactive Cards are a new way to add interactivity to your videos and help support your video's call to action. They're a lot like annotations, but they also work on mobile devices, finally. In this video, we're gonna look at what interactive cards are, how to set them up yourself, and how to see if they're actually working. If a video has interactive cards on it, you'll see an eye icon in the upper right-hand corner of the video. Clicking on that at any time will pull up all the cards added to that video. The eye icon can also turn into a button at different times in your video to direct viewers to a specific card at a specific time. Here's how you can add cards to your own video. To add cards, click the edit button of your video and go to the new cards tab. The editor is similar to the annotations editor, but far simpler. Simply click Add Card and you'll be given a choice of cards based on where you'd like to send your viewer. Click Create next to the card that you'd like to add and you'll be given some editing options. If I want to link to my associated website, I'll be given the option to add a website URL, a title, an image, and some call to action text. You'll see that YouTube will pull some images from the page that you're linking to automatically, or you can upload your own card image. I found that square images work best. I tried uploading a video thumbnail, but you'll see that the sides end up getting cut off. Uh, the call to action text is what will appear as a teaser in the upper right hand corner. Uh, you can see that the teaser expands uh, in the video right where my card is placed. So I can always move it forwards or backwards to get the timing I want. All the cards you add to a video will be shown in order of appearance here, and you can edit them by clicking on the pencil icon. Most of the cards have similar editing options, except for the fan funding card, which automatically pulls information from your fan funding settings. We can learn more about that here. You can see how your cards are performing in your analytics dashboard under cards. A card teaser is when the interactive card icon briefly turns into a button. If you have more than one card in a video, it's possible to have more than one teaser impression per video. A click on the teaser opens up the card panel on the right, resulting in a card impression. Any clicks on the cards are then counted as card clicks. The click-through rate for either of these is the ratio of clicks over impression for each item. What's great is you can view your data at the card level, the video level, or even by the card type, so you can see which use cases work the best for you and your audience. So those are your YouTube interactive cards. If you have any questions about how to use them yourself, leave them in the comments below and I'll get right back to you. Otherwise, I put some other tutorials to check out, as well as a button you can click to subscribe to the Video SEO YouTube channel. Uh, we'd love to have you. We put out new tutorials every week, uh, and we also have a pretty killer email list if you want to go ahead and sign up for that at videoseo.com. So thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next week.